Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris, man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I guess today I'm going to do a short video to acknowledge the passing of Dr. John. Dr. John was a, I guess, you know, according to the information I gathered, he's categorized as a New Orleans jazz singer. And what's interesting to me is very few times in my life that I hear something on the radio that just blows me away. It's like, whoa. And I give you three examples. Uh, one of them was I was driving down the street and a uh, Groove Me by Guy came on the radio. I was like, I've never heard anything like this. Because I'm, li I'm listening to the kick drum and I'm like, I've never heard the kick drum move like that ever and it's funky as hell it's like whoa i pull over to the side of the road pull out my cell phone call myself stuck it to the speaker because i'm like i need to find out who this is and i did the same thing when i heard jazz singer kim uh what was the song Ugh, i forgot the name of the song but it, he sounded like al Jarreau. i was like whoa what's the name of that song Mm. I can I hate when I can't remember something. Uh, love calls. There you go. I, I wouldn't be able to rest without remember, remembering that song. And the same thing when I first heard back in nineteen was that seventy three when I heard Doctor John's Right Place at the Wrong Time. And what was so interesting about that song then, and as I've become a musician myself, uh, it's so unique because I'm like, okay, it ain't an R and B song. It's not a pop song. It's not a blues song. It's not a jazz song. Because there are some artists that, you know, when you listen to their style, you can tell their influences. Like a good example is uh, uh, D'Angelo. I mean, he's jazz with gospel. I mean, gospel chords are all over his stuff mixed in with jazz. And it's like, okay, I hear the two elements marched together. But Dr. John, that particular song, I can't place it. Even to this day, I can't categorize that song other than it was funky. You know, it was so funky that they played it on... American, no, uh, Soul Train. I remember seeing the Soul Train dancers dancing off of it because it was funky, you know. And uh, that was one of them songs that just really moved me because I'm like, man, this song just got some kick to it. And as I got older, you know, I listened to the arrangements and I'm like, that's one reason why it, that song was so successful to me because it was different. I mean, it was just different. And uh, the second time that he goes into the chorus, it's an organ, but it sounds like a synthesizer kicking in. And this was before synthesizers was really readily available to most musicians. So it was ahead of its time to me. I mean, even still today, I can't categorize that song. I can't say it's, it's blues fused in with something else. You know, it's just it's just a, a work of art to me, you know, and it's funky, you know. I love the guitar part and how the organ part is working with the guitar part. You know, uh, he's born in 1941, passed away June the 6th of a heart attack at the age of 77. His legal name was Malcolm John Re Re Rebeck. Ugh, I can't even. Rebeck. Reberneck. I believe that's what it is. Uh, I mean, you know, we're going to miss Dr. John because Dr. John brought something that was very unique. Because, you know, most artists, when they come onto the scene, they sound like the current stuff, but, you know, it's them. But he came on with onto the scene with his own style and identification, you know. And most of us don't do that. You know, we come in trying to sound like the stuff on the radio because that's what the record companies want. They want the next dude, you know. And most of us come in sounding like what's going on. A perfect example that was from R. Kelly released living in the 90s or born into the 90s. It sounded like a guy album, you know, because he sounded just like, you know, uh, uh, Aaron Hall. You know how Aaron Hall exaggerates his stuff, right? You know, that's R. Kelly came in doing that and he did a good job. And then what was so clever about R. Kelly to me was when, you know, he got in doing that, that he slowly evolved into his own style, you know. And I like to see that in still of an artist spend his entire career sounding like that other dude, you know. You know, that gets tired really quick. But I just want to pay tribute to Dr. John. We're going to miss you. Uh, thank you for the contribution that you've given us musically. And uh, by the time I post this, I'm going to do a cover of Right Place at the Wrong, right place at the wrong Time. Because I love that song, you know. So until next time, take care and thanks for watching.